Late night edition of the Woo, baby. You see what it is. White Sox Woo. Always representing that Woo. Check this out, man. I'm trying to piece this together the best way I can, the way the person approached it to me. They say, why do I always allow other beings to disturb me? Why do I tolerate any and everything? And why do I feel like I have to belong all the time? Man, that's a lot of heavy stuff they laid on me. It's a lot of heavy stuff. Let me say this. Once you check your ego of longing to belong, you're going to be okay. I'm going to start it like that. Check your ego of longing to belong and you're going to be okay. Let go of the expectations and pressure that you never asked for. Let go of the expectations that I'm a certain age. I should I should have this. I got to have that right now. No, man. No. Who put those who put those stipulations on you? Why you put those stipulations on yourself? All you need be is be so rooted in yourself that no one's absence or presence can disturb your inner peace. You hear me? I want you to be so I'm talking to you. I want you to be so rooted in your being that nobody's absence or presence can disturb your inner peace. I'm telling you, you know, a lot of people ask me, well, how are you able to speak on this and how you speak on that? Well, you know, I'm a, you know, <laughs> I don't think people understand how stressful it is to explain what's going on in my head when sometimes I don't even understand it myself. The people just give it to me and I go with it from there. But I, it's not about me. I want you to be so rooted that the absence of presence don't even affect you. If someone is rude to you or disrespectful to you, politely remove yourself and walk away from that motherfucker. Excuse me for the language, but sometimes it gotta be, it's needed. Walk away. Actually, when you walk away without saying nothing, it's actually sending a powerful statement. It sends a clear message to the other person. They've done something unacceptable. You ain't gotta say nothing. You ain't gotta say nothing. They get it just like that. But you gotta be rooted in self. You gotta have self-preservation and don't allow no one, no one to disturb your peace. So young God, real quickly, uh, how would you drop the mathematics and the science on this God? There's three ways to manipulate the mind. What you read, what you see, and what you hear. That's woo, baby. Catch me at Fitty Snapback Thought 70 and push that like button. Blessings. Woo.